Suddenly, the bony head starts shaking. Oh. A burning coal that serves as an eye socket stops you in your tracks. Hello everyone, Time to Grind here, and today I wanted to play some more Black Book. And last episode, we uh, retrieved the cross necklace by performing an exorcism on a like little girl, and a cat came out, and now we have a cat. Uh, and now we're pretty much on to try to find the belt, because we're trying to pretty much save that one original demon girl. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff to do apparently here. First, I want to see what's up with wow. my demon cat here. Can't you see? I'm old Carsey here on the slipping bench. I'm sleepy. Love the voice actor. Ask what you wanted. I need to sleep. Got tired. Um, cat. How did you transform into a cat? Cats kill people. For protection, that is why. Well, what you like? What? Yeah, right. Cats give no quarter. It is good that our father Tsar's army keeps them in check. Oh, so you don't believe me then? Oh. Let me tell you one story. We got a new story, okay. Um, you know, we'll, we'll talk to him later. Um, first of all, I just want to see. Oh yeah, we got an item. Oh, the cross. That's, so I guess we can't equip that or anything. Oh wait, can we? No, we can't. Okay, that makes sense. Um, we also have. Did we level up here? Uh, first of all, wait. Demons at the mill was the, okay. Cat on a mill. I want to read this. Cat on a mill. Once my uncle was working on a mill and could hear a grinding stone not working as it should. It rotated for a bit, stopped, and then rotated again. He came closer and saw a big black cat sitting on it and the grinding stone rotating as if something was hindering it. My uncle went to grab the cat, but it slipped by to the other side. My uncle tried to grab it a second time, but again it managed to dodge him. Then all of a sudden the cat disappeared with a crack as if it fell through the floor and the grinding stone started working properly again the next day my uncle died oh my gosh so that's just like a story or whatever short stories of encounters with evil spirits which took place in real life explore the game to learn you know, bachelacas or however you pronounce it okay that makes sense uh, i don't know why it shows a new symbol on our oh we have new herbs okay makes sense and uh we can level up here uh we're very close to increasing the number of orders in our zagavore uh, but we're not there yet. Words deal one more damage. Oh, yeah. One thing I guess before we did this was we had the shorts on what? We have them back now? Oh, man. There's so much sin. The imp tells the Sudesco that the offering his family gives him are just too small. Enraged house spirit makes noises each night, ruining the entire family's sleep. We're getting so much sin, f sin for this. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, man. Your church cursed a merchant's horse and his master couldn't ride him to an important meeting. The merchant lost money and reputation. Big chunks of ice break the windows at the local church. Okay, so if we don't put him out, we're going to lose one damage to pages inflicting damage. We're going to lose health. That's okay. Defense pages give one more. Honestly, it's like I know we might not get the best ending ever, but I want to try to like not get sin right like i want to try i think we're gonna stop hopefully it's a little bit forgiving like i don't have to do like a whole pacifist thing or anything like undertale so in this case i kind of want to uh you know what book handling drawing additional i don't know drawing the additional things don't really help page creation um that could be useful you can send one more short on a meaningless job let's do that let's do that real early on here um so what we can send them to where are they where, where are the the Pointless. Okay, meaningless. Here we go. Um, okay, let's do the damage one. You're, you're going there. Meaningless joke. Um, yeah, it's just gonna, yeah, just do something here. Meaningless job. Who do we want? Defense pages. We'll send that one away. We can lose the four health because uh, I don't want any more sin. I really don't. Um, and in that case, we will just keep him with us, I guess. Um, knowledge so that was our level up we don't have anything uh and one thing i was thinking was in our so, build oh did not mean to click, click him well okay this is whatever i don't care no. i don't care um okay he clearly so, has something Masha, he wants to say have you taken well um learning the i don't know uh isba traditional russian countryside it was built long ago lots of people have lived here since more than half oh. a century ago it seems all according to old rituals, you know them by now. But uh, I don't remember who built it. Uh, my grandfather, I suppose. Um, evil spirits. How can I recognize evil spirits? How can I know when they're before me? Simple. You've been to the world of the devil, 
And so we can just see everything. Oh, we've, we've already, yeah, we've heard this. Okay. Such is a um, and he won't tell us about himself, right? Vilgert, oh. The sixth son of my father, Yevlan Pichurov. It was a big family, not the richest, though. When you have so many mouths to feed, it's hard to save money. But we lived well as a family. The house must have been built well. That is to say, I realize this now. Then one year, a seventh brother was born. Timofey, he was called. He was a good lad. He grew up, but I didn't look after him well enough. Heavy is this sin of mine. I still feel guilty. Vasya, having chorts is a trivial thing. You would do better to protect the ones closest to you, to fight for them. It's knowledge that gives us strength, for we harness their own power against them, with the chorts under our control. One day I was looking after Timofey. We were playing with the other children, but I lost my patience with a boy. I cursed him severely. He sends sent him to the... Him to the Leshy. He sent him to the Leshy, also known as Vorsa Spirits, uh, who are the masters of force and sometimes feel the meadows. Uh, they control the weather and also animals and evil spirits who inhabit their domain. Hunters and shepherds have to come to an agreement with Leshies and offer them gifts and bargains. So the Leshy carried what? him away. We never found him. So he himself is he just... vanished. Oh, it's hard to bear like, these scenes, Vasya. Killed probably so his hard. brother. So I decided to become a Kaldun. I wouldn't let the Dark Ones But didn't you cause that, though? Didn't again. he have the shorts? Or, so I or I, I guess again. Well, I'll tell the story of how I became a Kaldun later. Ask me tomorrow. It's hard to So we're just slowly getting, like, the, uh, the lore of him. That is... I have to go. That is very, very interesting. Let's see what Nikolai has to say here. We don't have any um, visitors here. Do what does he have to say? As if I'd believe that you forgot. And then you got a bit too scared. It is as you we already say, listened I to this. Okay, wrong. yeah, he, he was fired. It's something awful. We already heard this. Why? Oh, it's a long story. A long fire. The fire. What? Maybe not that long. I'll tell you. Okay, some yeah, what? Time. Don't you the bride. Think? Let's help her first, won't we? She must maybe a demon. Well, she said she was a changeling, didn't she? The girls of my age are all married. Who would marry an old soldier anyway? Only a demon. Nikolai. So how did you end up a soldier? Well, they took me as a recruit. We were just a kid then and don't remember much about it together. Old Yegor just took you in after your parents. Well, when you went into the service, did my was parents it by die? your own choice? Aye, by choice. To be honest, some other lad drew the lot, but we have a large family. And I'm a hot-headed guy. Right, and a fine one. Ha, quite right. It was my decision. I made my way to my field regiment, and they sent us to fight the Turks. Did they give you your cross there? Aye, that's a different story. I'll tell it later. I see. Like I'm really interested in the, in the lore of this and stuff. Um, what does this say? Oh, okay, whatever. Um, so one thing before we leave, I was thinking, is. I don't know. So we built a really good deck uh, previously with um, with like doing all of the buffed with the well versed. The only thing is, I don't know how good that is going to be at clearing uh, things themselves, right? Um, so I I wish I could save this honestly, but you know what? We'll have more cards back then. Oh, it doesn't allow me to. I I don't know. I feel like this can be improved a little bit, but. Let's see here. So we already have the waste. I really like the waste. Um, let's let's try doing a more aggressive build here. Um, let's do a bunch of waste because I really like that. Firm, well-versed. Um, I think we do that. We keep that uh, well-versed. That's, that's a five. Uh, that's pretty good. Increase the number of orders in the book. Now I don't care about that. Three damage to all enemies. I think that could be really good. Amplifies by two for each of the name. Um, that could be really good, but that's 13 for more of them. Uh, well-versed. I kind of want to try that, though. Firm, well-versed. I kind of want to do a super aggressive thing here. Yeah, let's do a bunch of these well-versed. I'm going to just honestly buy maximum of those. Maximum of those. 
Uh, well-versed, another well-versed. A fierce could be cool, but maybe we don't do that. Um, well-versed, removes positive status effects. Let me see what I can take out here. Um, well-blessed. Nah, we don't care about bless. Um, removes negative status effects. I think that's okay to have. I think we should have one of those. Uh, bless two. I don't really care about that. I want to be super, super aggressive here. Firm or don't care. Don't care. Gesture. Yep, that that's that's good. Well versed. Don't care. Don't care. Okay, we're we're pretty much spending all our money, but I'm kind of okay with that. The deck is is the most important part here. Uh, firm. Well versed. We want. Oh, we can't afford. Oh, we already have four of those. Um, well versed four. So the question is, do we want to? Focus more on this, the Jirias or the, the Kilas. We probably want more keys, right? Are there any of these a key? We need more keys. Just two damage. Yeah, let's let's get more of the keys here, I think. One, two, three, four. Okay, maximum of that. And we'll buy a gesture. Does not expel. Oh, that's so good. We should have bought more of that. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Okay. We're, we don't have the, the best deck ever, but we spent a lot of money and we got a very interesting deck right here. Honestly, you know what? Let's let's get rid of the waste. Let's get rid of the waste. Let's just be super super aggressive here. I think this is a pretty good uh, deck here. Um, and oh yeah, there's Isba. Uh, the Isba is a traditional. Oh, there's the countryside pester with shorts. We're gonna have one of them still with us here. Whatever. Let's go ahead and set off here. So our main task is gonna get the belt. We have an optional task. Uh, to go check out this field. So let's let's go to a book oh, book merchant. We don't have any money though. That's that's the problem here. That's that's the slight little problem you we have, have but bumps. A sign of a devilish presence. You look around. Your only companion is humming among the silence. Suddenly, a dark figure steps out from the shade. It is a, a Zagavar dealer. A Zagav Seek me out, girl, and I will grant you knowledge. I can help you gain a better grasp of your book and all the wisdom contained within. By Zagavors. Man, I wish I had money here. Oh, firm three. See, that's so good. Now I understand the point of the lock, actually. Wait a minute. Okay, well, yeah, we don't have enough. Do, do I have that lock? I think I have that lock, right? The... What, can I not... Book merchant... Am I not allowed to change? I thought I was allowed to change. Oh, 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 I can. Oh, I just can't buy anything. Okay. But we had the one that was a lock, right? Or do we not? We did, I don't think we took that. Uh, I don't think we took that. Okay, whatever. So I guess we'll make our way to the uh, Anachin Forest. Or however you pronounce that. You catch a whiff of the disgustingly sweet smell of rot. It's not how I would Cold describe fear that. enters your soul when you guess what might be the source of the smell. A human body lies nestled in the grass. It is already unrecognizable from decay. You see an old wooden cross. Okay, we're trying to be good here, so let's bury the dead. You dig a small grave and push the dead man inside. You read a prayer and continue your journey. We slowly got to get rid of the 13 sin that we have. Um, there's two extra things we can do. One's Plosky Ravine. Let's see that. Pleasant peasants spotted a great whirlwind in this ravine a few days ago and asked me to check it out. Okay. Sounds good with me. All of a sudden, the tops of the trees rattle and clang. Alarmed, birds fly away, screaming in fear. You see a whirlwind filled with loose branches and dust from the road headed your way. Uh, read a prayer. You read a prayer. And the whirlwind stops spinning, dissolving into hundreds of demons. Among this throng of unholy spirits, you see a girl in white. She <coughs> has a noose around Ooh. her neck. Excuse me. She tries to say something, but the enraged demons oh. immediately summon a new whirlwind and fly away. Oh no, so Several we weren't able to save her? Stay behind to uh oh, okay, well let's test out our new build here. This guy's gonna summon more demon spirits. Oh, we didn't. Ah, oh, we don't need that earth card uh, with us. Uh, firm, well versed. Yeah, we'll do the firm, well versed. The firm, well versed. We're gonna be taking a lot of damage here. That's okay. Um, and then we'll do a key here. We'll do that. 
make him do his attack. I'm just trying to do as much damage as possible here with the well-versed. Have everything buffing everything else. And the, what's cool is that the, those uh, firm are going to stay here. So we didn't have a power turn, but this turn is going to be a power turn, though. I'm excited to try this out here. He's, he is going to summon the... Uh, oh, jeez. Okay. He's going to start poisoning us. Oh, that's that's really bad for us. Um, decreases in words. Three. So is it... What? Is he cursed? Decreases swords and words for three turns. Oh, okay. I see. Well, a firm, well versed. Let's just let's just kill this guy. Gesture doesn't, and it's a free one. Um, three to all enemies. That sounds good. And key. I guess yeah. Kill, finish that guy off here. So, okay. Let's see the well versed. Seven damage. That's insane. Okay. Oh, please tell me. Does it use it on someone else? It does use it on someone else. Okay. Oh, maybe it does. I don't actually know. That was just the damage to all. I might have wasted that. Might have wasted that. That poison's gonna suck here. Maybe we have our debuff here. Removes negative status. I like that. Let's get that down. Um, we're gonna take some damage here. I think we just try to finish them off here. Um, firm, well versed. Oh, is that it? And then removes, I guess, yeah, damage. How much damage are we gonna do? Oh, okay, we're gonna do 10. We're gonna exactly kill that guy, nice. Nice. We did take one damage and then heal two. Yeah, being able to remove those negatives. Oh, oh. I thought it said we had ten damage. I don't know what that what that was about. Um. Well then. Um. I guess firm, well versed. Did it? Did it just? destroy our good effects too or did they maybe they purged our stuff I don't know firm well versed so we're doing six damage then the rest of these can hit that right that seems to be removes positive status effects on the enemy right right that's how that works okay four damage there wow One. Oh, that other one wasn't well versed. Oh, we were one off. Man, okay. We're definitely taking more damage with this build. That is, uh. That is something here to, uh, kind of keep in mind. But I mean, I think that's fine, right? Firm one. One damage to all enemies. I like that, actually. We can just put that straight in our thing. Uh, and you know what? Let's, let's start to. Okay, well, yeah, first of all, we don't need the, uh, the soil. Uh, replenishes 20. Um, wait. Okay, yeah, first of all, okay, there we go. Uh, what do we want? Applies three on the first turn, increases well-versed. Ooh, effect of black words, the deck of cards. That's exactly what we want. That's exactly what we want. Herbs and healing, Zagavores, restore plus one. Well, why not I do that? And then I, what, heal? How do I use this? F? Use one, use another. We, we only need two suits. So now we can take it off and we can put the, uh, I don't know, four, probably the three block each turn. That's probably the, the better thing here. Um, we are, oh, okay, yeah, we have four less health because of our shorts or whatever. Um, okay, let, let's go to the, the Salmon Marshes. People rarely venture into these marshes since they're not really inhabited by anyone. Various spirits have made this area their dwelling. Okay. Okay, then. You see a small demon sitting on a hillock. In his hand, he is holding a snake oh. by its tail, swinging it from side to side. A swishing sound of the snake's body and its angry hissing fill the swamp. Let's just wait and see what happens. You watch as the demon twirls the snake above his head. It seems as if he'll never grow tired of it. Suddenly, the snake slips from its claws and flies right at you. It's clearly angry. Oh, now we have to fight the demon and the snake, I guess. If you're really angry, kill the demon that was messing with you. Um, okay, let's see if we can kill this guy here. Uh, Fierce 2, amplifies by 2 after each use of the pa same page. Honestly, I think we just do all these well-versed. So we have 2 damage. So what, we have 8 damage. We have... 
the gesture, which is free. We have that. So much damage. That's 15 damage total. Uh, so we'll actually... Oh, wait. What is this curse? Decrease? Oh, wait. Oh. 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 He does something different now. Igor's curse decreases... Choose a target. So what, make him deal less damage? Is that what that is? Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're not gonna be able to kill the guy. What is he gonna do, poison us? Oh, that does suck. That does suck. Is that gonna be like a, yeah, two HP. Eloquence, oh, that eloquence only happens for one turn. That makes sense. So we got poisoned. He's cursed though. Okay, so I, I forgot we're taking old Igor with us. Um, okay, removes na negative status effects off us, I'm assuming. Um, and then we're going to three damage to all enemies, removes positive status effects. We'll just two damage there. That's all we can do. Yeah, I think that's the play. I think that's the play here. Took one damage from the poison, healed two. We're gonna take two damage total. That's okay, we'll still be above 20. I wonder if we'll be able to get our, our sin down to zero before the end of the game. Um, firm well versed. Um, I guess we just do all the uh, the damage we can, right? To, can we even... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll block a single time here, I guess. We'll block a single time. Bias time here because there is no reason to be super super aggressive like if we can just you know do that We'll have to we can you know use less of our uh, herbs and stuff like that Because maybe we should be able to finish this off with one of these here three damage Let's see if we especially if we have one of the free ones firm no firm will burst firm will burst How much damage we got 19 damage holy cow, okay? This is I like this build here like this build. Oh, we got the lock. We got the lock, which just stays on there, so it'll help the that uh, thing. Oh, we leveled up. We leveled up. Oh, <gasps> increases the number of orders. We can use an extra order now in our Zagavar. Uh, words deal one more damage. We probably should actually start going in uh, in this path now that I think about it. Let's do that. That's uh, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Okay. Well, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Uh, we've done that. We've done this. Let's go to the uh, Erst Orlok Village. Village near the Carmel River. Despite the late hour, sounds of celebration are coming from the village. It turns out that a festive dinner has dragged on and turned into a non-stop festival. Oh. You notice the worried host, who looks like he can't wait to say goodbye. Yeah, we'll offer help. You offer to disperse the festival for the host. His distrust of you vanishes when, after a couple of your Zagavas, <laughs> furious winds send the suddenly worried guests scurrying home. The host rewards you with some of the dishes from a banquet table. Five coins. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's go to the old idol. Talk is somewhere in the old woods stands an old pagan Permian idol. Bathing in the moonlight, a moss-covered idol is hidden among the tall trees. You walk closer and see a fresh towel wrapped around it. The forest around you is silent. What is this idol? I actually want to see, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to actually, uh, you know, check out a little bit more of the, more, more of the lore, and I am very interested in it. Um, you know, I just always try to find a good balance. Where did it go, though? Where? What? Um, gravestone. I don't. I don't know where it just went. I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. A, a moss-covered idol. What? What was the? What was it? Demons at the mill. It wasn't. It was a. Uh, huh. Maybe. Maybe it was this. I don't know. No, because I think this is alphabetical, right? No, it's not. Ritual behavior. I don't know. First trade route. Maybe it was that one. Okay. We'll leave. leave. Uh, let's go to the road. Uh, people rarely venture into these marshes since they're not really inhabited by anyone. Various spirits have made this area their dwelling. I think we're going to get some combat here, guys. I you think it's going to happen. Walking in the direction of Panteg. In her hands, 
she clutches a spindle that is emanating dark power. Old Yegor smirks, another of the spinner's victims. Help the girl. You call out to the peasant girl and convince her to get rid of the cursed spindle. Surprised, the girl follows your... Nice, we're getting rid of that sin. We're at 12. Uh, Villa of Woods, Grim Woods by the spinner's house. Oh yeah, because this is the uh, the spinner. I think that's the person that we're looking to make our bell. Horror. A dead girl is oh. dangling from a spruce tree's gnarled branch. You can't move. This strange fruit sways back and forth with a creak in the cold wind. She died recently. Oh, man. Go tell about the body. You know what? Let's summon the spirit. Is that... No, let's go tell the body. That's probably the correct thing to do. You summon the strength to go to Pantik and tell them about the dead body. You see the despair in the Oh man. Presence. It seems the girl was well loved in the village. Okay, we got rid of the sin and we got some experience, so that was clearly the right thing to do. I'm sure we might have got it short or something like that. I don't know. Um The word for wit witch takes its root from the word Vedat. Uh traditionally a woman versed in knowing and performing magic. Huh, okay. Oh man, okay. What well, what was this? Okay, okay. Uh, they were often called Vikita uh, from Veshka, Squirrel. It is a phonetic distortion of the word. According to the churted myth mythological te texts, such a woman could turn into a squirrel, allowing her to enter the house through the chimney and steal an unborn child from an unexpected mother, or from an expectant mother. According to the same text, witches often gathered atop a mountain to celebrate by roasting children over a fire. Witches performed black magic, cast the evil eye upon people and livestock, stole milk from cows' udders, and shared knowledge of love spells and love potions. Love magic is akin to black magic. They could be the wives of coldons and draw magic from their husbands. Uh, they were believed to appear as regular women and were seldom de depicted as ugly hags that featured prominently in Europe. Huh, okay, that's interesting. Um, so now I guess we're going to, uh, let, let's go do the uh, side quest here to the village. This is a large and rich village, the center. Uh, there's an odd old church of Epiphany and it's notorious for being haunted. Okay, sounds good. Let's go, let's, let's make our way to investigating the side quest here. You feel at ease as you walk down the welcoming street of this village. A calm silence surrounds you. You almost pass through the village, but the silence is broken by loud laughter. And just having a good old time. Of an Vasilisa, is that you? Come on, join us. I don't have the time. Come on, your work is such a bore. Five minutes here won't kill you. My work is a bore? Well, we'll listen to the All song. Right. I have a little bit of time. You sit by a house and dissolve in a deep song. I will restore her health. Okay, we don't need to listen to the whole thing, but... Uh, Geldtov Settlements. Near Pientang, there are several small villages scattered throughout the nearby forests and woods. Seems like a nice place to live. Seems like a nice place to live indeed. <laughs> On the field, not really. I don't. I don't think all these demons. Digging. Coming closer, you see a peasant moving the border of a field. The man looks startled when he sees you approach. He stops and calls out to you. Is that you, Igor? It is I, with Vasilisa. God bless. God bless. Huh? What are you looking at? I'm moving the border ditch. What of it? Field edge? What? Why are you moving the border ditch? You moved it quite far. For good reason. The Petrov's workers cause me nothing but grief. They deceive me. Shot me in flower. Only they didn't steal in broad daylight. Have you spoken of it at the village meeting? I have. Not much good it did me. Petrov's folks silenced me right away. Huh. I'll tell you what. If you curse the demons, I'll pay you. Uh, trick the peasant, curse the Petrov men. Let's do that. Let's do that. He's messing with my peasant here. All right. Consider them cursed. You whisper a few spells into the wind. Oh, we gained the sin. Evil no. Eye will cast its gaze upon the man's enemies. But will it even do him any good? They won't be able to say a word at the next village meeting. You can be sure about that. I gained three sin. All the goodwill I did here. Finally, some luck going my Just way. because I helped a peasant. Some money. Oh. You take the money. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know, man. 
Okay, well, let's go to the ravine here. There's no shortage of waterfalls and ravines when you travel around Trudin Uzed. They say further to the west, there are even the mountains that surround the region. Like, I could try to, like, do things that I know would do, like, good Near things that I wanted. Forest creek, you be in character with my character. Meadow. Among other vegetation, you see one beautiful flower. It's blood red. Oh, it's an Adam set. We've the seen herb those before. And get ready to go on your way. Yeah, that's nothing. What? Oh, that that was the Petrov's fields. That was it. That was the that was the side thing, I guess. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's uh, let's go to the spinner's hut. There's a witch hut uh, just outside Pinton Village. The spinner is a powerful and famous knower. Even in Vilgort, people have heard of her. Some of the girls have gone for her for love potions. Old Igor doesn't off offer such services. And I remember we're not supposed to bring up demons whatsoever. That's something old Igor last episode was making sure we were very clear with was to not mention demons. It's pretty. I like the the way these the cutscenes and you stuff. Are to the house of the spinner, the more ominous the woods get. I'm a witch. The I shouldn't be scared. Trunks of pines and spruces tower over the path like silent guardians. Your blood runs cold every other moment. You feel that the border between worlds is very thin in this part of the forest. Once again, I am a witch, right? Like, I shouldn't uh, be very scared here. Uh, anything I want to... Uh, I know it likes hiding things from me, so... Um, okay, what, what is... Uh, okay, forgot I can walk with WASD. I'm um, just making sure there's nothing. I see there's yarn. There are bright strings of some kind of path. Is this, is this, nope, that's nothing. Um, that's a skeleton. Warding skulls, there are many different skulls and charms. Uh, human skull. Wait a minute, there's a, there's a thing over here. I see you. Get that herb. Whoa, 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 what was that? What was that? Oh, increases the number of things in our Zagravar for one turn, okay. Um, are we supposed to go over here? No? Okay. Well, there's clearly like string or something leading towards there, but, um, yeah, what is, what is this, uh, anything over here? Let me make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, distant, okay, well there's another herb. Um, distant forest, quite a grim place, it, there's places like this that give witches a bad reputation. Look at that, look at those eyes in the background right there too. Oh man, look at that, but it's an invisible wall, so. Human skull. Oh, I gotta get back in this camera angle, you I guess. Oh. The skull hanging by the door. Suddenly, the bony head starts shaking. Oh. A burning coal that serves as an eye socket stops you in your tracks. Oh, joy! And Noah, are we? So it knows we're a witch. Finally, some fun. My eye isn't what it used to be. Who's that old timer over there? I think I know him. Will you let me pass to see the spinner? With pleasure, but I'm ordered to test Noah. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be hanging around here in the first place. Anyway, we'll do it just like in the fairy tales. I'll give you three riddles. Solve any one of them, and I'll let you through. Three riddles, and we only have to solve one. Or refuse to answer, I'll take one of your eyes. Oh. I'm short one, you see. I'd say that's the least of your problems. Well, are you up to it? Yeah, sure. Have it your way. Listen to the first one, girl. There is a hamlet folks back together tight. Come morning, the cock sings, yet no man stands up. So there's a, there's a hamlet folks, but so I think that means there's like there's a party. There's a lot of people. Come morning, the, you know, rooster or whatever, it's doing its rooster thing. Uh, no one wakes There's up. There's a hamlet, folks packed in tight. Come morning, the cock crows. Oh, it's a cemetery. No it's a cemetery. 100%. It's a cemetery. It's a cemetery. It's a yeah, dead, dead men, men don't raise from the graves. Great. Yeah. Correct. Only dead men don't believe me. You may pass. Or... Let's, let's continue riddling. Yeah, I want to get the experience. Listen to the second. It's free experience for doing riddles. Lame chicks in a lawn, dry wood they haul. Wound up in a ditch, can't move an inch. A term that refers to priests who frequently recite uh, the name of the Father and the Son. 
They sing along, dry wood they haul, wound up in a ditch, can't move an inch. Sing along, dry wood they haul. Wound up in a ditch, can't move an inch. It's a funeral? Yep. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do the other riddle. Let's riddle some. Steal a quine, tail of twine. Steal a quine, tail of twine. Tail of twine, needle and thread. It's needle and thread. Well, that's easy. I'm here to see the. Correct. Look at okay. you. Okay. Nice. Well, you may pass. Uh, we can riddle some more. Continue Let's riddling. Riddle. Fourth riddle. No legs, I just want to see how many riddles. Is this no gonna just get all this free experience? Walks with no legs, sleeps with no arms, mouth with no speech. Walks with no legs, sleep. A shadow. A shadow. Walks yeah, easy. Oh. I can riddle you another one. Go on. Crack one. The ship broke to bits over meadows and deeps. Of no popes and ship okay. fell to beats over meadows and deeps, over cities and streets. No popes and no dukes can bring it anew. No money, no books. A ship fell to bits over meadow and de deeps, over city and streets. No popes and no dukes can bring it anew. No money, no books. Is it the true? I think it's the sky and the stars. Sky yes. You are a Listen, you might be even more. I can look after your spine Wh and whatnot. I can make myself useful, you know. I can take him. Okay. So be it. Your eye shines. All right then. I'm off. To well, I got him. Oh. Evening, Kapitalina Ivanovna. Evening to you too, Yegor Yevlatpevich. The voice of the spinner is quiet and smooth, like the rustling of pages in the black book. Brought you my little orphan. Oh, okay, and I'm an orphan, I guess. I guess I should have realized that. This one. You sure did. But what are you thinking, poking around in my business? You took my spindle. It was doing my beating. Oh, my skull? Is is that the spindle? I let it slide on account of you not knowing and all. God bless, Kapitalina Ivanovna. I see you're a fine girl and a smart one. Yes, I heard your replies to the riddle. Huh? I love how it reacts. Lower is not all demonic affairs. So why are you here? Not just to check up on an old woman, I should think. Uh, we don't. We just want to bring up the the uh, the belt. It's all we want to bring up. We're not supposed to bring up anything else. I need a woven belt, a powerful one, Kapitalina Ivanovna. Yes, I know you came for a belt. Only why would I give one to you? Old Yegor warned me that I should watch my mouth around the spinner. How should I answer her? Um, compliment the belts. You're known all across the Uyest for weaving. Not supposed to bring up belt, anything but the Ivanovna. belts. So I am. You aren't here without reason. I can indeed make good belts. You've become a knower. Ooh. So I'll give you an enchanted belt. So what are you going to do with your chorts? Oh. How am I supposed to answer that? I really don't Torture know. Torture the do with demons. Them. Use them to grow. I'm not supposed to bring up demons at all. At all. Shorts will help <gasps> me become a powerful witch. Oh. <sighs> the filth will chew you up and spit Oh, I thought I, I thought I wasn't supposed to bring up demons as well. Them, Igor, the girl seems to follow in your footsteps. Oh, you're never after anything without reason. Always some kind of ruse. Been cooking up something with your demons. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I forgot shorts are demons. <sighs> I'll give you the belt. If you can beat me. It'll help your pupil, but you help mine in turn. Hush. Have it your way. All right. Here's your belt. We got the belt. Don't forget your promise, Igor. You won't let me. Oh, no combat? We don't have to do any combat? Okay, I mean, I guess there won't be a boss fight every single time. That was that was cool though. I wonder what that skull thing is though. Spinner is no simple witch. It's not the last time we'll hear of her. What are you running your mouth for? You miss the whipping so much? 
Or uh, does Elieshi have control of your tongue? Now we'll have to help her. Heaven knows with what. All right, we've got the belt. Now we must plan our next moves. Now we need to name our Banya bride. Well, uh, go to Vilgert. You'll find the priest there. Kolya, you should go too. Vilgert, a large village where you were born and raised by old Igor. Okay. It's decided then. Okay, so let me just, I just want to see what this skull dude That's does here. What I'm talking about. Finally, no riddle. I wonder if this corpse will tell on us to Capitalina. We should carry him to the forest and bury him under a tree somewhere. You think he might be dangerous? What are you whispering there, Yegorka? Haven't you recognized me yet? I would uh, had you any more face to guess by. I may have but little skin left, but I'm still more handsome than you, old short. Oh, Levonti, is that you? My, finally! Looks like your memory isn't any better than that of the rotten head. Tote, <laughs> why aren't you dead yet? I guess it's all right, Vasilisa. This undead is safe. He won't tell anything to the spinner. Who, who are you? I never thought this demon would turn out to be an acquaintance of yours. I know every Kaldun and Duist, both living and dead. Me and your grandpa were friends before you were even born. How are you not dead, Although, though? Although, I inherited my sorcery. When my grandma was on her deathbed, she was a witch, as you might have guessed. She called for me, asked me to bring her some water, and then she passed me her charts to me. Ha! A cunning ploy that was. And I, young and dumb as I was, accepted them. To tell the truth, I never really regretted it. I told you I'll be immortal someday. A uh, box on your immortality. We'll see how you seen when demons come for you. We will, Levonti. The spinner. What do you mean he won't tell her? Perhaps we should actually leave him in the forest. I won't betray an old friend of mine, you hear? Just in case, uh, let me bind you with a couple of Zagavars. And you, Yegor, still just as cunning. You waste your strength, though. What little of it you have left? Only three teeth worth, as I see it. Don't worry, I have enough. And the skull. How do you look like that? Only a white hat. I'm just no so body. interested in this character. You try being undead as long as I did. Time eats away everything, even steel. It's only thanks to sorcery that my head isn't completely gone. I can teach you this trick. I'll doubt I ever want to leave as a wrecked skull. Yeah, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound very uh, very appeasing. So uh, I think this is a very solid uh, ending uh, for this episode of Black Book. Uh, it was very very interesting. I think we got a very awesome uh, build going on with uh, our uh, you know the uh, you know the multiple you know type of things here. Uh, and, uh, I'm, I'm really excited here. I'm really excited. We also got the belt now. So, uh, next episode we will, I guess we have a visitor and stuff and then we'll go, uh, you know, I'm assuming name the, uh, you know, the, the, the bride or whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of our black book, uh, campaign. It is so interesting playing this game and seeing all the lore and watching the story unfold. So I can't wait to play it again. So make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say to be notified when the next episode comes out. And if it's already out, it'll be on the screen right next to me. Uh, but if you guys are going to be grinding out this story in black book on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.